A Seattle brewery is celebrating the Lunar New Year by serving up its culturally inspired beers with unique ingredients like lemongrass and lychee. As Cairo 7's Simney Kim shows us, the owners hope to share some of their culture and inspire more diversity in the craft beer landscape. I think we're mostly at a boil now if you want to. When Barry Chan started brewing, all he wanted to do was make good beer. It was a hoppy hobby that evolved into a dream job. He and longtime friend Raymond Kwan opened Lucky Envelope Brewing in 2015, where he uses traditional and some not so traditional ingredients like tea. We did hear from a couple people saying, oh yeah, you're the Asian brewery with the, with the weird ingredients. And I was like, no, that was, that was a little, uh, it was a little heartbreaking at that time. They had just taken a huge leap of faith. Barry had been a structural engineer while Raymond had been in corporate finance. They both quit their jobs to start the brewery and realized they had to overcome another barrier, racism. They're one of the few Asian owned and minority breweries out of the more than 400 craft breweries in the state. They'll kind of question whether or not we're owners. You know, they'll, they like to ask if we're brothers. Uh, because we're both just Chinese American. Uh, but other than that, uh, the, the, the community itself, uh, especially here in Washington State, is very supportive. It's why Raymond also volunteers on the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee with the Washington Brewers Guild. What it means to us is, you know, really just making sure there's opportunities and making sure there's education across the, you know, across the state as well as the country that you know, diversity in the craft brewing industry is important. From the get-go, they've been intentional. The brewery's name, Lucky Envelope, chosen to honor their shared Chinese heritage and fond childhood memories of getting those signature lucky red envelopes during Lunar New Year and other big celebrations. We find a lot of joy in, in sharing the cultural aspects of Lucky Envelope Brewing and uh, our cultural identity being Chinese American, the first, uh, both of us being the first generation born here in, in America. That joy is on full display when you walk into the tasting room, decked out with red Lunar New Year decor. To toast the Year of the Tiger, they even brewed up special Lunar New Year inspired flavors, like this imperial stout made with traditional Chinese five spice powder. This is berry bush tea from Market Spice. Which was uh, brewed into this cold IPA, a collab with Highland Brewing and another collab with Seattle's Halcyon Brewing, a lager blended with oranges and honey. But getting to this point, to be so unapologetic and bold, even with their logo, took some time. This is what their logo looks like today. That signature lucky red envelope is prominent. But here's what it looked like when they first opened their doors. Both of us were a little concerned that if we came out the gates initially as the culturally Chinese culturally influenced brewery and we didn't have good beer not only would that impact our ability to grow as professional brewers it might actually impact the ability for future Asian brewery owners to open up shop with their own uh, you know cultural influences. Lucky Envelope has gone on to win numerous awards including at the 2021 Washington Beer Awards. It's given Barry the confidence to know he's doing what he set out to do years ago. Being a structural engineer formally, you can't you can't build anything on top of a, a on top of a weak foundation. So as I, I thought, you know, that was at least proof that our foundation is holding and we're doing well on the beer side. Let's go have some fun. Let's put some let's put more stuff into beers. Let's make this let's make this a thing. So yeah, those so-called weird ingredients, they're a thing. Those comments did they 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 have and I guess they continue to light a fire underneath me. Always striving to make a better brew while continuing to push the lucky envelope. Simney Kim, Cairo 7 News.